Christians don't be you. Of eternal life. Alan is with you in couple number 10. And will be as long as you see the divine prophet as your leader and advisor. We are only too grateful for your aid and cooperation at this time. Also, the evidence is just what will be a great help at this time. And we have employed the councils in that north. Both the prophet and the more science took North America. We have employed the councils that know. Council, the more science, the prophet and the more science took North America. You got that? At this time, and they also know I am dependent on the prophet and what he represented. And they are only too glad to have an opportunity to defend you. They are seeing themselves sliding backwards so fast that they have gone to their lawyer to get him to get an injunction against me. Stop from having anything to do with the organization. The authorities told them no. Their lawyer told them he couldn't do anything like that for them. So you can see that the prophet has won on the first round to before the case comes up. But keep all news to yourselves till you hear from the grand body. We don't want to give them any information as to what you are doing. I will write you a detailed letter. May 12, 1935. Mr. Manny Eel, Morris Science Temple of America and Corporation. Chicago, Illinois. Dear sir, kindly acknowledging your receipt of $120 for professional services, written in the case of Morris Science Temple of America, a corporation by C. Kirkman Bay versus E. Billy Hill. Mm. This is the further state that the verdict was entered in favor of the defendant, which was yourself, E. Billy Hill, by Judge Everhart in the municipal court room. 913. I was right. May 7, 1931. Case number 1746990. Anybody ever heard of this? Anybody ever read it? Ever seen it? Come up and look at it if you desire. What this said is that this is where confusion came in. Kirk McVay wanted to sue the Morris Science Temple of America, saying that he was here and he was a Supreme Grand Advisor and May 8, 1931. Brother Gavin Eater, dear brother, I am writing you this morning in the joy and glory of this life. I knew we couldn't lose, for it was our Father God Allah's fight as spoke by his divine prophet. It was the most complete victory I have seen in court in a long time. Everything the enemy did was against him. When we were there in March 26, not knowing then that only the lawyers and witnesses were allowed, and after we were told to have all the rest to stay home, or it would be some time if then the case would be heard. Suddenly I told all my people who are following the prophet, the prophet to stay home when the case came up again. They did. But those who have themselves lined up with Kirkman Bay as against the prophet, thinking they were doing him and themselves good by being there. After being told to stay home, but that and the false but that and the false evidence they had to offer swept them away like leaves before the cyclone. Mm -hmm. Kirkman Bay even had the grand chief from Detroit, Michigan, to come down to testify in his Kirkman Bay's behalf, but to no avail. 
D. Nelson Bay of Detroit, Kirkman Bay, Foreman Bay, all three that didn't know anything about me being Grand Chief of the Morton Science Temple of America. Kirkman stated that he was head of the organization by virtue of election held in September 1929. You got that? In other words, when he said he was elected a Supreme Grand Advisor and Moderator, he threw out the Grand Chief and put himself in his head. That's what he said. You got that, Robert? Kirkman stated that he was head of the organization by virtue of an election held September 1929. When asked by the council for the defense, did he know he had been dismissed in September 1930? He said he didn't know anything about it. It looked so bad to see those men take the witness stand and say the things they did. And when the case opened, his friends and enemies were there to see and hear him defeat himself. Then when the judge handed down his decision, you could have heard a pin drop. But justice is the law. Mine and your God would have it had spoken for Allah and his prophet. I didn't have to say a word, neither of any of my witnesses. The case was in court of justice. And his honor had been my evidence. And my affidavit of merit is why I should retain the charter, flag, seals, and all records belonging to the organization. Wow. Any questions? Now, wanted how he wanted and how he said it should be done. I was one of them at one time. I didn't know. I did not know. I didn't know. But when the opportunity was presented to me to know the unauthorized temple I was at, I left and came to temple number one and gave me everything I had, and still doing it. I wasn't one of those who went back and forth. I was sold. I was sold. And one of the purposes of reading these, this history, is not so much to tell, to tell you, come on over. If you come, fine. If you don't, fine. That's between you and all. This is, um 1933. Brother A. Gavin 235 Spring Collab. Is that still in this? Newark, New Jersey. My dear brother, I'm quite sure you received my last letter. And did you see where I told you don't pay any further attention to those lies of J. Gibbons in? When he tells you and whoever else who will believe him, who will believe his lies, that he is our prophet reincarnated in flesh. You people surely have good sense. Or have you walked into an illusion and think that you are right? There is no difference in giving now then it were six months ago. He was saying those same things then, only worse. Because then he called himself uh -huh. Now he calls himself duality reincarnated in the flesh. All who believe him are lost according to the words of noble duality, our holy prophet. The peace of the evening of the Supreme Branch. Everybody know about giving zero raise your hand. He calls himself the reincarnated prophet. So merely of his likeness. Reincarnated prophet is not an office in Act 1 of the Constitution. Not that. Neither is Grand Fuba. Neither is Prince of Peace. Neither is National Grand Chief. Neither is Supreme Grand Chief. Not that in Act 1. Grand Chief, Chairman, Assistant Grand Chief, Grand Body. There's no supplementary, supplementary literature that has reincarnated property. There's no editorial that has reincarnated property. Grand Fuba, Central Peace. But there's supplemental literature 
It does have to bring a conceit. By the prophet himself. deceiver, what this deceiver had to say. And while I am on this subject, let me say to you, if you want to seal your own doom, listen to anyone before you listen to the Holy Prophet. Bill Hill was right to the point. And whatever you do, don't let the enemy speak in your temple at any time. Don't let him even visit your homes, for they can go from house to house and do you or your people a lot of harm just with that house to house talk. That's right. Mm -hmm. The prophet's general laws read anyone that speaks against your prophet or his divine and national movement were your enemy. Right. And he so often said that. These people that come to tell you this or that must produce credentials. Otherwise, they are no good. And we're only seeking to destroy your belief you had in your prophet. So don't even stop to talk to not one of them. If they speak, our prophet, Noble Jurali, don't hear to him at all. If they speak, our prophet Nova Durali, don't hear to him at all. If you do what you will find, if you will do that, you will find out you will be all right. And also, if any more of them come to you saying they know me, tell them to show their credentials. And if he fails, you know he is no good. Peace, Brother Emilio. So, so you always, it's a meeting here too. We do know that when the prophet was here, you didn't have that. Boys was going around setting up their own shop. You didn't have that. When he left, you had it. Why? Because Kirkman Bay, along with some other Moors, contested the plans that the prophet put together for his more science to open the door. Open the door. Uh, January 27, 1931. To governors, grand chiefs, heads of all temples, your attention is again being called to the moral obligation as well as our divine duty that we first owe to ourselves and Allah and his prophet. 
that we would at all times, as far as we are able, obey the laws, rules, and regulations as laid down by our prophet. I'm sure you would hold the prophet in greater respect than we do if we would read and study his charter and his five principles with a greater respect to him and Allah for our present and future salvation. For my brothers and sisters, these laws laid down by our divine prophet are sacred. So love them. Once we obligate ourselves to the law, we are not excused thereafter for not complying with the law knowingly. So please let us all, please let us all and what not have not done our full duty to ourselves and our holy prophet. Read, think, and act regardless to what the people think or say. To win this fight, we have three to please. You heard this before. First, the Father God Allah, his prophet, and yourself. For if we try to please the public, you will hereafter disobey Allah. And we are people have done that too often already. Then from now on, let work, let's work to please our Father God of love and save ourselves. Peace. Your brother Islam. Monster, nineteen thirty-one. Islam of the Gabriel. Grand Sheik Temple number ten, eighty-four Spring Collapse. My dear Gabriel, I just received your letter and glad to hear from you. And my brother, this it is a fine thing to put your trust in Allah. Our prophet said that he was here. Let me, let me start. Our prophet said when he was here that he needed no army or navy. He didn't need any airplanes. For those who had them, they wouldn't do them any good. He said further, if we did what he asked us to do, we wouldn't need any guns here or any place else. Because children, I come representing my Father God Allah. And he is with me. And he and I are one. And he has given me all power of heaven and earth over me. I mean, make peace where there is confusion. I can make war where there is peace. This is the prophet. He also says, I advocate peace, not destruction. And if I accept your salvation of my father through me, you shall never see death. He said we were holy people. They wouldn't have to fight anybody's battle. He also said, children, this is a serious affair. What I am saying to you all, it is spirit, life, and truth. And if what I have said to you is not true, then everything you see must pass away. He further said, if you people don't do what I tell you, you will mess up yourselves. And if what I give, and if what I have told you is wrong, you will get in trouble doing what I say to do. I will be responsible. You rest easy. Take care of the situation. Those fellows who think they're smart, they are not as smart as I thought they were. There are organizations here in America that can work in other than the Moors. They can work other than the Moors, the Moors Science Temple of America. As a divine movement and as a very strong advocate of peace and not war, we stand for love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. We remain yours to a true representative of Allah in his proper terms. Peace. Love. 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 Love.